Our first free boondocking site in Florida is Cypress Creek Preserve, a water management district near Land Lakes that requires reservations and a gate code to enter. So we just woke up this morning and I was checking my email in bed like I normally do and I found out that I am the winner of the Team O'Neill contest for Onyx Off-Road Trail Guides and I got two days of rally school so I won the contest for the most trails submitted in two months. <laughs> I can't believe it. Can't either. Yeah, all the trails that we were mapping um, for off-roading throughout the year went towards this. And the competition came out in November, and I think I logged 20 trails in November, December before the new year. So, wow, I can't believe it. <laughs> so what do you win again? Two days of rally driving school at the Team O'Neill. So let's see here, where is that? Uh, it's in New Hampshire. So this is the same rally driving school that Travis Pastrana went to, Ken Block. Pretty much any American rally car driver goes here first. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm pumped. <laughs> I don't know when it is, I gotta keep reading. But oh wow, what a way to start the day. <laughs> <laughs> the second day of class is a very natural progression from the first day, building on everything that you've learned and taking it to the next level. On day two, you'll be tackling a variety of different types of corners, from higher speed sweepers to tight technical turns. You'll work on your lines, adjusting your speed for different conditions, and creating some serious side-to-side -side weight transfer to link corners together while staying in control of the car. I just made an incredible breakfast out here in our outdoor kitchen. Eggs, bacon, goat cheese, salsa. Might have forgot to drain the grease <laughs> from our meal. And now Jacob is being really dramatic and thinks he's going to puke. <laughs> Give me some thumbs. Look at all that grease just selling just from the burrito. <laughs> That's just what dripped out. What a day. During our time at Cypress Creek, we did lots of biking to cover more ground and explore the area. The soft, sandy soil made it quite the workout. Definitely a cedar swamp. Looking out for gators. Stasha the mushroom hunter. Cool spot by this little pond. Whew. Pretty good ride. Let's get back to it. Having quality off road lighting is essential for full time boondocking. Whether it be late night campsite arrivals or just grabbing dinner and drinks in town, the Light Fox Regal series has your back when you need it most. Hey guys, I want to give a shout out to Bougie RV. 
Thank you for sending us this awesome folding door window shade for our entry door. This should be a huge upgrade from what we currently have. That way we can sleep in later, or if we're parked in a well-lit area like a Walmart, be able to black out our windows and be able to sleep in. I used denatured alcohol in a rag to wipe up the adhesive residue. Wow, this bougie RV shade lets absolutely no light and it's a true blackout. This is gonna be a huge upgrade. The shade has magnets for folding to customize your opening size. That's perfect. You wanna let just a little bit of light in? That's gonna be really nice. Huge upgrade from what we had. Thank you Bougie RV for sending us this folding RV window shade. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to follow along for more adventures.